Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Caitlin. I make videos on lifestyle, beauty, and fashion. This weekend, we are prepping for the Eras Tour. Taylor Swift is coming to Pittsburgh. I'm so excited, and I want to take you guys along with me this weekend to prep for the tour. So first things first, we got to get some Chick-fil-A for dinner. Then we're getting a haircut. Then I'm getting some party prep supplies. Um, I have a couple friends coming over on Saturday, and we are going to throw a little Taylor Swift Eras pregame. So I'm going to take you guys through that. Bracelet making, my outfit, everything. It should be such a fun weekend. So be sure to stay tuned, subscribe, and give this video a big thumbs up if you like Taylor Swift just as much as I do. Let me know your thoughts on the concert, if you've seen it, what was your favorite song, everything like that down below. And yeah, let's go in and grab some Chick-fil-A. So we are here at Five Below. I need to get some party supplies. I want to get some like fun plates and napkins, maybe some like decor. I do have um, streamers left over from Halloween that I'm going to hang up. But just like some fun things, you know, to spice up the apartment and to really get us in the mood for T-Swift. So I am back home from my haircut and my little shopping adventure. I'm going to show you guys everything I got for the party. It's Wednesday night and the concert is until Saturday. So we have some time, but first up at five below, I didn't really get as much as I was hoping to get there, but I did get three of these um, purple, like hard crystal candies. And I'm going to put them in our drinks because I'm going to make a drink called the lavender haze. And I thought these would look really cute and aesthetic. And they were only like $1.25 each, so I mean, it wasn't like terrible. Um, next up, what I got at Marshall's. Oh, I just got some cleaning supplies and a card for my dad, <laughs> but that's not for the concert. Um, I did get this bowl because we hardly have any like decorative bowls or anything. So I thought this would be good to put like some chips or some sort of snack in. For the party and it was only $8.99 and I thought it was like really pretty and aesthetic so we got that. Moving on to what I got at the Target. Again I got some salad dressing that's not for the party and then I got some espresso pods also not for the party but then I figured I'm gonna make like this candy mix kind of like Eli Rallo's the jar like she doesn't TikTok but this is just gonna be more just like sour candy. So I got Starburst, I got Sour Patch Watermelons, I got these Nerds Group uh, Gummy Clusters. These are so good. If you've never had one, buy one. This is like the most amazing candy. And then I got two things of Gummy Bears. I think we also have some like leftover candy from Easter too that if it's still good, I might throw in there too. But I just kind of want to make this like really fun and colorful mix. I got some crackers for dipping and then I got some cranberry juice because our other cocktail that we're making is going to be the bad blood. I also got some potato chips and tortilla chips for various dipping. So much stuff, it's like not even fitting on my counter. I also got these chalkboard things. Um, where you like write on them, I'm gonna write what the drink is, the lavender haze, the bad blood, and then our third drink is gonna be the August. So I got those. And then finally, from Party City, I got the little chalkboards at Party City. I got this really pretty um, dispenser <laughs> with this like awesome rhinestone on the side. If this is what I'm gonna put my like fun candy mix in, I thought this would just be super fun and why not? I love throwing parties. I'm honestly probably gonna throw another Halloween party and I might throw something for Christmas and my birthday. So I figured, you know, it's an investment. That's how we're gonna spin it. I got the chalk <laughs> to write on the boards for. And then I got these really awesome plates and napkins, like tie-dye. I thought this was very like lover-esque. So super cute. We still have silver streamers from Halloween that we're gonna hang up and a microphone. So I think that's like the basis of what we need. We still need a little bit more food. Um, I'm gonna get like carrots, cucumbers to cut up and I wanna get sparkling lemonade as another mixer for one of the drinks. But 
I feel like this is a good solid start. So I'm gonna put all of this away and then take a shower. Happy Thursday. We are going to check out the merch lines today. It's 11.30 and the merch lines open at noon. So I'm hoping that I can use my lunch break to walk over there and get some merch. But I saw on Facebook, they already said the lines were blocks long, but I saw the picture and they didn't look that long. So I'm hoping if I go over now, I can get in line and get the merch and it can only take about an hour. So really hoping I can get my t-shirt today. If not, I might try to come back after work later in the day, but I do have a spin class tonight, but I just really would like to get the t-shirt so then I don't have to worry about it on Saturday and like carry it around with me at the concert. I secured my merch. You guys, it was crazy but I got my t-shirt and my CD and I'll tell you more about it when I get back. Okay, I know the lighting is a little weird, but I'm back and the crazy story is I found this like side separate merch entrance or place where they were selling merch, not like the main line. And I like walked past it and I saw like a group of girls like kind of back off the side of the street and they were just like kind of standing around and I couldn't tell if they were like, waiting for Taylor merch or like what they were doing. So I just like kept walking and then the like side uh, place like caught my eye and I was like, oh, that looks like a place where they're selling merch, but it wasn't like the main gate that was listed online. So I like, kind of go up and peek and sort of like peek in and this guy tells me like, oh, hey, we're setting up some stuff on the iPad. We still need a hotspot. So it'll just be a couple minutes. So I was like, oh, okay, cool. And so then I just like kind of stood there and then as time went on, I saw like the girls like kind of lined up to the side and like more people kept lining up behind them. And I was kind of like, oh, uh, because there were two people behind me also that had joined me. But like me and the other two were like, are we in line? Are we not? But then the guy came up to us again and was like, oh, hey, just a couple more minutes. We're having like some technical difficulties. And then the girl like over there like said something kind of to us. And we were like, um, we didn't know. We were just like you know, in line and this guy like didn't say anything to us. So we're just gonna stay here until like someone from the official store like tells us to move. So we stayed there and it turns out I was like the first person in line in a separate merch line. Um, so I got myself pretty quickly. It was still a good bit of a wait because of the technical difficulties of the iPad. But let me show you guys what I got. First off, let's admire this beautiful bag, Taylor Swift, the Eras Tour. I freaking love it. Oh my gosh, the lighting in this window, that blind is broken and we need to have a maintenance request. So the lighting is super funky, but I got the CD, um, the Midnight's um, Late Night Edition, which includes You're Losing Me. And I, I love CDs. I listen to them all the time in my car and I really wanted this bonus track since it's not available for digital download. So I bought the CD, it was only 10 bucks. Um, and again, I'm going to the Pittsburgh show. So it seems like they're probably selling them at the shows moving forward. And then I got a t-shirt. They run really big. This is a medium and this looks pretty big, but I'm okay with it because I feel like I'm only gonna wear this t-shirt in a very casual setting. So if it's big, I'm gonna wear it with like leggings. So that's fine. Um, but it has all of the eras on it. Um, and it's so cute. I freaking love it. And then the tour dates are on the back. So I'm super pleased. The t-shirts were $45. They also had quarter zips. And if you're going, just keep in mind that I think they run a little bit big. So if you want something true to size, um, I don't know, I'm kind of in between a small and a medium in shirts. So it just really depends on what I'm looking for. I wouldn't say like my true size is a small or a medium. It just kind of depends. But I actually asked her for the large at first because I feel like usually these stadium shirts run super, super small. Um, the large was huge, so I was like, oh, I definitely want a medium. But yeah, very happy with my purchases. It only took me about an hour um, round trip, so not too bad. I'm gonna log back onto my computer and I will catch up with you guys later. So I just got done with my spin class. They played a little Forever and Always Taylor Swift piano version for a stretch at the end, got me in the mood. And I'm also listening to Midnight's right now. Um, the CD I just bought today, um, the darkness version or whatever it's called, I can't keep track of them. But I'm sitting now at the car wash, gonna get my car washed and then head home and take a shower. I'm so excited. The concert is literally one day away. I cannot wait. 
oh my gosh so i just listened to you're losing me for the first time like the full version not just like tiktok snippets that song is incredible i cannot believe it was from the vault oh my god it was so 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 good also right now i want to predict my the songs for this weekend for pittsburgh since it's thursday and i want to predict the surprise songs right here <laughs> here are my predictions number one i am predicting seven because pennsylvania under me i think it's out contender definitely a contender number two i think mary's song from debut could be a contender too pittsburgh is it's a city but the suburbs are pretty country um sorry if you live in <laughs> north allegheny but anywhere else it's pretty country uh like the suburbs and there's like a lot of farms so I, i'm feeling debut and i'm feeling mary's song um I'm not saying which night these songs are going to be played on, but these are just like my predictions for the weekend because I've been seeing a lot of people do it on TikTok and I thought it'd be fun to predict myself. Um, but my last two predictions are Ivy. She hasn't played it yet. It's definitely a fan favorite. And why not in Pittsburgh? Why not Taylor? <laughs> and then finally, I think she's going to play um, Stay, Stay, Stay. I don't want to hear that song. Let me clarify. But because of the line, um, you come in with your football helmet. Um, Pittsburgh Steelers are really popular around here and Taylor knows how to please the crowd. So I think that one is highly likely. So those are my four predictions for the surprise songs. But anyway, I love You're Losing Me. I wish we could hear that one. That would be so good. I would say like that and Ivy would be my top choices right now. Um, I'm so sad we didn't get to hear You're On Your Own Kid or Maroon. Like, I really wanted to hear both of those songs. But as of now, my top choices would be um, Ivy and You're Losing Me. Happy Friday, you guys. Tomorrow is the concert. I've already started getting ready. I made these little things for the drinks. We're going to have the Lavender Haze. We're also going to have the Bad Blood, which we may sample tonight after dinner. And then we're going to have the August so i feel like that's gonna look really cute and my plan is to make one of each drink and put them out and then people can choose which one they want and then i can make more because i don't want to like waste things because i find sometimes with parties like you make a bunch of stuff and then like no one has it so it's like whatever people actually want and then we also hung up these silver streamers from halloween we had a pack of three and we used two for halloween so um, this one was left over and they're from Amazon. I can link them down below. They're really good quality. The one from Halloween, like we kept it up for like three months till New Year's and it was perfect. So I feel like this is great for like taking selfies or making TikToks. But yeah, it's Friday afternoon. We got the place all cleaned up. We're going to go out to dinner so we don't mess with our kitchen. And then tomorrow I should just be able to um like make our little hors d'oeuvres and just get ready and then go to the concert pretty early so that is the plan for the rest of today good morning you guys it's saturday the day of the heiress tour Woo! i'm so excited i am so happy i didn't go last night because taylor played one of my least favorite songs actually the last time and if i had that as my surprise song i actually would have been disappointed but anyway we are getting ready for the party we have our little um, dipper tray out. We have all of the snacks out behind me. Um, we have our drink station um, getting ready to be set up. It's about 10 30 right now and I took a shower. I had some breakfast and I'm probably going to do my makeup now. I know it's a little bit early but I just want to be prepared and everything and then we'll start making the drinks and the snacks and everything and my friends are supposed to get here around two-ish. Okay, you guys, I am all ready. I'm in my purple sparkly outfit. Let me show it to you guys. So I got this dress from Sheen, in specific the Sheen Bay line. It is so sparkly. I'm literally obsessed. And then I'm also wearing these cowgirl boots from Amazon. They are super sparkly. I am loving this outfit. It's actually really comfortable, super shimmery, and I'm so excited with how it turned out. I was really worried that it was gonna be kind of low quality, but I really, really like the look of it, especially with these little feathers down below. Also, here are my bracelets. I have one for every era, our song, Fearless, Sparks Fly, All Too Well, Style, Delicate, Lover, August, Ivy, and Mastermind. You guys, we just made our first cocktail. I'm gonna put it up on my TikTok so you can follow it, but essentially it was one shot of the Purple Empress Gin and the cat just fell on the ground. Um, 
basically like two parts of this Trader Joe's sparkling lemonade. And then this fun candy crystal here. If you want it to be purpler, more purple, just add more gin, but I kind of want something like a little bit lighter, so. But it's tasty. It's kind of like a floral lemonade. We just made our second drink option, which is the Bad Blood, which is cranberry juice, splash of club soda, one ounce tequila, splash of triple sec, and a lime. We have the bejeweled bowl over here with a bunch of different candies in it. Sour Patch watermelon, gummies, nerd ropes, um, starbursts. I randomly thought to make this little sign. And then we have our three featured drinks here. I am obsessed with how it turned out. We also have some chips and I'm heating up some spinach and artichoke dip. And then we have some veggies there. We have our streamers and our microphone for taking pictures. And then we have some sprinkle cookies here and we're getting a pizza. So my friend should be here in about 15 minutes. I will try to check in with you guys later on at the concert um, and insert some clips there, but this has been super fun and I'm having a great day. I can't wait to head over there. I've been listening to Taylor Swift all day and the weather looks decent. It looks kind of cloudy out, but as long as there's no rain, I'm okay with it. Jumping, but I 